Right, it's, I think it's the 24th of June. It's a nephew, sort of an ex-nephew of mine, via marriage, whose birthday today. Um, I've got a feeling he'll be about 46. Yeah, I think he might be 46. <sighs> yeah, or 44. No, he's 44 today. He's 44. Yeah, dates always stay in my mind, even if I don't see people always. But uh, I always remember dates like that. My sister Jude's would, birthday would be in three days' time, three or four days' time. Um, she would have been, well, she will be, but she would have been if she was alive. She would have had a celebration on her 71st birthday. Right, so anyway, I've come on the bus, wore my mask. It's ease up of the lockdown. Um, I've actually been on the bus before with a mask. <sighs> and it's all the blackberry bushes out today. All year round you get different displays. I'm glad someone's maintaining the path though, because in the past I've come up here and I've had to knock thousands of spider webs out of the way. And I don't know if they were false widows, they look like it. There's loads of them. But it looks to me because someone else has been up here, they've cleared the track. I just met an elderly gentleman a minute ago, telling me about a bird of prey feathers up here, or a bird of prey had attacked something. He said they were, they were often known to be kites up here, bird kites. So anyway, I thought I'd come out. It's going to be 25 to 27 degrees today. We've had some... Very strange weather this year. We really have. It's like being in a time warp. I think summer's arrived. Tomorrow's going to be even hotter and it could reach 33 degrees. So today, here's all the feathers, look. Maybe a fox has got it. Look, there's the feathers. Could be that a fox got it. Or it was just pruning itself. So I thought, yeah, get out. I am doing a bit of um, exploring today, though. Um, so there will be quite big gaps in a minute. I have just thought I'd do an introduction as I come up through this lovely, lovely wood at Hutton. <sighs> a stone throw from the bus stop where I get off. Well, a bit more than a stone throw, but in far, a couple hundred yards. Yeah, what other plan is today is to go through Hutton Woods like I normally do, go to Canada Coombe, and then go down a path I've only ever done once. It's a bridal path, and it's called the bridal path. And it'll take me down quite a long, bumpy road, unless it's been improved. Bumpy track, I mean. And, um until I get to a bridge. It's a pedestrian bridge, or cyclists. And um, it'll take me towards Banwell. Banwell Woods. Banwell Camp, Banwell Caves, which I know aren't open. They definitely wouldn't be open this time of year, but there's a lot of history. Banwell was probably a hill fort, you see. Once again, I will look it all up. And, um, it's lovely, isn't it? The lovely, lovely blackberry bushes. These are a blanket of them. I'll just stop and take a picture. Right, back on again, on the track. Going up, I'm going up. And the elderly gentleman, obviously he hadn't been up here before because he, he said it, it seemed too hilly to him. I said, but it was slippery, it's true. It is slippery. Um, you don't want to break any bones here. But I said, once you got up to that bit you were talking about, it would level off. So, but he, he did look a bit frail. But, uh, funny, I saw him smoking a fag earlier when he was ahead of me by a couple hundred yards. I, 
I've seen him having a fag. He might have a sneaky one, mightn't he? He looked about 90. Uh, he had his binoculars. And he thought he'd come out in the woods. I got out of his way. He asked... He didn't ask me to get out of the way, but he said he would move. And I said, no, I will, because there's a bit more room. So we, that's what we have to do. Keep distance. I wore my mask on the bus. Anyway, so what I'm doing, I'm heading towards Bamwell. Now there's plan A and plan B. The problem with there being very few buses at the moment, and restricted spaces on buses, and ridiculous gaps in times, it could be risky for me to think I could get the Wells bus at Bamwell back. Because it, cause they've half, half the number of seats available, if not more. You could be waiting there, and it's the last bus, and they won't let you on. Because of the keeping the rules. But I would have thought they could if you wore a mask. But uh, so it's a bit dodgy at the moment, thinking about doing that. Because my I went on a big hike round Cheddar and on the Mendips, thinking I'll get the very last bus back. And it's packed. What are they going to do? Leave me there? They just drive past me. And that's too far for me to walk back from Cheddar. You know. I must top up my phone. I've got emergency only. I keep forgetting I can top it up. Forget every time. I'll do it next time I go into town. I should have done it yesterday. I always forget I do. Yeah, I've seen a bird of prey on one of my other albums here. I'm not sure when it was, if it was the last visit or one before that. I've been over here a lot this year, over Hutton. It's accessible. I can even walk here um, over the other side of the Roman road. I can actually walk here if I wanted to. And I have done, when I've done a massive hike once that lasted nine to ten hours. I did a big circular and I came back down through here. Then over the the old RAF lock-in. And back through Asdaway. That big walk was about the 23rd of March or the day before. Just before the huge lockdown. Anyway, I've got other missions I'm planning for the future. So anyway, I'm heading for Banwell at the woods, castle, hill, fort, the lot. The caves are owned privately. I've been told they won't be open while this problem's going on. That's a lovely scene there, isn't it? The trees all lit up like that. I might take a picture over and out again. <laughs>